this is Bonnie and I'm super excited because this is my last video for the um, Once in a Blue Moon project that I've been sharing with you. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you so far that some of these things that we have used in the project. And that is Sizzix um, um, Otis. And um, I turned this one into a blue moon, as you remember. And then I also did the... Um, the duo pumpkins, or the pumpkin duo actually is what it's called, the yeah, pumpkins duo. And I made those two ways. And then I just finished making the sweet kitties with whiskers. So these are what I needed to start my project and getting me thinking about what I wanted to make. Um, the other thing I wanna share with you, this is rather old. I have had this for some time. But um, what I want to tell you, first of all, is my daughter came to visit from Colorado, and we always love to do their Tim Holtz projects together. And so um, she always gives me great ideas. And so um, I told her, I said, hey, I've got this paper, even though I've got the um, Halloween paper, too, which you could use totally with the project that we did. But if you happen to have this paper in your stash, you might want to pull it out because this is works really, really great for the project I am doing. Now, the other thing I need to tell you about this paper is a craft, it's a craft resist, which means it's on craft paper, but there is a lot of it that has a little bit like of a clear resist on it, but it still works fine for what we want to do. So I want to show you what I used. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you um, a little bit of a demo. So inside this, hmm, let me see if I can turn it sideways a minute just to pull some out. I went and we used the smaller version of all of these letters. Now I want to show you a little bit of a sample. This is what we did. We used the new watercolor pencils on this paper. Now there's a resist, so some of it you cannot, it won't you know, adhere to, but the rest of it, you can make it really, really cool. So it's not just this color, but you can add colors to it. Really cool. It also comes in the larger version. And we also used some of the words from here on our project. So there's a lot more really cool papers in here to save, but I wanted to show you this, if I can find it really quickly. Because usually you have two of everything. And it must be towards the back, of course. Let me look really quickly. Well, you can see all, as I'm flipping through here, you can color any of these in with the watercolor pencils and it's fabulous. So let me find it really quickly because we haven't, we didn't use it all. At least I didn't think we did. Well, I'm not finding it. Maybe there was only one. At any rate, um, what I have left from that one piece is this one. So let me show you what we made and then I'm gonna demo how I did and um, the watercolor not hard to do on this paper. So we made actually three projects, but I only have two to show you because my daughter brought hers home with her, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit about hers. Hers is super cool. This one is mine. This is the Once in a Blue Moon. And um, I want to say that we use one of the vignette boxes, but I needed three the same size and I did not have three when we were doing the project. And it takes a while for me to get them in the mail. So I kind of used a box I got from Hobby Lobby. And this is what's on the back side of it. I'm going to show you a little bit of what my daughter actually came up with too for the back. So what I do need to tell you is, you see this right here? This was did not come this way. I took this off the back and put it on the front, which is now our back, just to let you know you can do that. So it's a wood box from Hobby Lobby that I decorated like a vignette. So if you can see the background, that is what I'm talking about. We colored in that paper I just showed you, this paper, and we gave it some color. And it's really cool. And she actually, my daughter, get the idea to match each one because each one is different. So let me go through this one a little bit with you. You recall that we made Otis in our first video. What I did, I don't know if you can see that, I added a little bit of acrylic that you get on your um, box or on your packaging. And then we attached our, our bat that way. 
I did not put the cat in the mouth like I told you in the last video because of how my daughter set it up. She goes, oh, I really like his tongue and his mouth. Let's not do that. So at the topper, two pumpkin duos, but let me show you this. I have four on here. Remember, I only made two. My daughter made an extra one. She liked this darker brown version, so we combined the two together. Now to get those standing up, She's, she basically used popsicle, the small popsicle sticks, and cardboard. Let me show you that. See the cardboard? Let's see if I can get the light on that a little bit better. There you go. Cardboard. And she did a lot of pieces and glued that together to make it 3D. Then um, we went ahead and added some of the cheesecloth on here that's gray and um, some of the um, candy from um, Tim Holtz. And let's see, yes, these are the stickers. I don't even have that paper thing, but the Halloween stickers. This is really old from Tim Holtz. It's a actually a clip that opens up, but I just went ahead and put one of the flare pins on top, if you can see that. And then around the sides is, yep, that really awesome crinkled up paper that Tim Holtz has for Halloween this year. I'm gonna need to buy more. And then let's see here. Oh, what really set the stage for me, which I showed you at the very last video, was this um, spool. It, um, it's an antique spool and I bought several. And then I went ahead and painted the wooden beads and we have a wooden bead at the bottom and it sits on top of the box. I'll show you that from the side. And then obviously, love, love, love these candles and those worked great for the spool. And then let me show you this a little bit close up. This is a flare. And then this is an old, older um, Tim Holtz metal. It actually has like a letter cut out in the middle, but I used it as a frame for the flare. And let me see what else do I need to show you. Well, you can see the pumpkins down here with it, with the kitties. And then again, some more of the um, cheesecloth and then some of the candy. And then what my daughter decided is to use the big letters for the side. Again, that was the other paper I showed you. It came in a larger version. Let me show you again with words. And we just went ahead and colored that in also with the watercolor pencils. And then we also put one on top. So that's pretty much this one. Then she designed one that I had started making those other pumpkins for my, my daughter. I have two daughters. And um, this one is one of the black and white pumpkins. And my daughter thought from Colorado that my her sister needed the yellow moon. And so that's what this one is. Now it's not the same as the one I just showed you. The colors in the back that we colored in coordinated with the colors of our entire box. And then the kitties are different but the same, they're different. I used all of them and all three of them, so we didn't make any extra kitties. But here, let me show you again the back. She did the same thing in this one. She did the kitty, and um, was one that was sitting on top of the stick. And then this one, she did the pumpkin, but she also covered up the extra she added with the black fringe. And again, and again, we have more of the um, cheesecloth, and she added, some of the stickers and then this came in a set of the chip they're like chipboard and again i don't recall all the names um that tim holtz uses for his products but this came in one of the um in one of the boxes or, or not boxes but one of the um containers that you get of all these different chipboards and the words because this also came in the same one hocus pocus and then this down here it's the only thing i think well other than the spool um, that is not Tim Holtz. Um, and that's a jar. I wanted to use a Tim Holtz jar, but I did not have the right size. And we just trimmed the candies. I don't know if you can see that. We just trimmed the candies a little bit to put it in a jar. So the candy sticks are in there. And then again, a kitty and another pumpkin. And then we use another flare here and obviously the candles. So it's just a different color version, but it's the same. Oh, and I also use some of the paper from Halloween and just cut it and made it a little bit more um, distressed. So that's this one. It's really super cool. 
And that's the two that I can show you. The third one my daughter did that I don't have, and she made hers glow in the dark. So basically hers has more of a green color to it, and the very last layer of Otis, she used an embossing powder that's a glow in the dark. So her Otis will glow, and it's really cool. She's not completed with hers yet, or I'd even be able to share you a picture, but I don't have it yet. When I do, I will probably share a picture. Um, so anyway, hers is really cool. It has the lime green look to it and the kitties. And then her pumpkins are also more of a, of a lime yellow green. So I'm gonna show you really quick, quickly the um, demo for the backdrop and how you can do that for any, probably of Tim Holtz papers. And it'll look really cool. So um, just pull out your all I have to do is pull out your watercolor pencils and you could really use any of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that little sample for you. Okay, we have a little piece left. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little sample. I'm gonna get a little bit closer because I'm not gonna do the one paper that I can still use. And you can see you can still use the word apple on here, which is really cool, and the word bat. So just pull out your pencils and what you might wanna use in terms of color. And the one I have right now, which doesn't really matter, you can get any of them as set one. And I am gonna go ahead and pull out because this is, trying to see what's on here. This would have been pumpkin. Yeah, let's just pretend the whole word pumpkin is still on here. We're gonna go with the orange. And this is like a, well, I actually have a rusty hinge. I'm not gonna do that. I am gonna go with, I'm just gonna pick any color because I really would have liked to have done the orange. But I didn't pull my orange. Well, you know what? I'm gonna pull my orange. Okay, because I do have the other sets, and you can, like I said, pull any of the, if you wanna do more pumpkin colors, this set is, um, you can do all any of them, really. This set is number three. And I am gonna go ahead and use, this one's Crackling Campfire. And like I said, the whole pumpkin word isn't here anymore, but you just basically color these in. And like I said, there's a resist, so I can't even color on top of the letter even if I wanted to there, as you can see. And you don't even have to be fancy when you color. Look, and that's not it. So then I'm gonna go ahead and use um, Wild Honey. And again, I'm gonna show you that resist. That resist is on there. So. I can color right over it and it's not gonna go on it. Super cool. Now you could even do this with any, think about it. You can do that with any of his paper. You could actually stamp one of his stamps and make use a clear embossing powder and clear, you know, the, oh, what's it called? Um, yeah, right, the embossing, distress embossing ink. You can just use this and make your own resist on his paper and then do the same concept. Really cool. So, I do have the, um, I do have the watercolor, um, I guess brush, whatever you wanna call it. And that's all I used to color this in. And then we let that dry. So you can just get, it's just really cool, very exciting. And you can just see how easy that is to add your color to the craft paper or any paper really. And like I said, you can make your own resist. But if you have this paper in your stash, awesome. Okay, so that was my quick little demo for you and my um, project, how I finished off my project. So then all we did was we cut these out and we used them on our project, super cool. So that was all I wanted to share with you today. Um, at the beginning, I have showed you a lot of different um, pictures um, of as close up as I could so you could see more of the design. So I just wanna say thanks for stopping by and um, eventually we'll get a new um, project going. Thanks so much.